Speed is everything. When it comes to being a video editor, every little bit that you can do that improves your edits, makes it faster, this will turn around into more jobs, more projects, more money. Today I want to introduce an AI tool that can make your work from here all the way to there. There's an app that is called ReCut and it's as simple as that. It cuts out all the breath and everything where I not talk just automatically in seconds. Simple UI, I just drag and drop my footage into this here in. It loads the whole footage and look at this, all this little red dots. This is all the cuts he detected just by automatic. I haven't changed any settings yet. Now you can export this into DaVinci Resolve, Premiere Pro and Final Cut and it creates not a video, it creates a project file. Export to DaVinci Resolve, export. So here on my hard drive, I have a folder, export. Put this in here, save. Now I can open DaVinci Resolve. And yes, you can bring this project file, also DaVinci Resolve, to the iPad. You open a new project and then you go in here, file, import, timeline. And now you can select this timeline here. All the settings at the moment are for me, okay. And boom, let's go to the edit page. This is your complete timeline. And what I'm talking about is even if you don't like a cut that it was making, you can still change that later. It's editable. What about multi-cameras? No problem, let's start a new project. I have actually two cameras. I have the main camera, the one that I'm talking to you, and I have a screen recording. So I will start with the one that is on the top. So this is actually this one here. Then I drag my other file underneath. And so what they are working on right now is an auto-sync function. This will come in the future. At the moment you need a clap or anything at the beginning, but this is easy if you know exactly where. So you go here to clips, and then you can just change that one. So in my case, it's exactly like this. What about if you want to change something? No problem. I, for example, I, when I talk, sometimes I do like one, two, three takes and I know the last take is the best. Let's say for example here, all of this I don't want. I can just select all of this, hit delete and now it's red and I will not cover this one. Or for example, if you still want something, you can select it again, hit delete again and it's back. So now for something like this, what I do is I need the main audio from my main camera. So I'm using this one here and I don't need that one. So I will select this one so it ignores those cuts here. Because here in the settings, for example, there is an option here on the bottom, cut where all tracks are silent. What it means is basically you could put as many clips in as you want and you can say the AI just cut everything that you find. But in that purpose, for example, it would be not nice because we have to align the clips. So I will use my main camera and my main talking. Now I can go to export, DaVinci Resolve. Like I said, there's also Final Cut, there's Premiere Pro. So DaVinci Resolve, export. Oh yeah, and by the way, just that you see that again, what I showed you at the beginning, from here to here. Just using this AI, the timeline is now already down from 7.5 to 451. And you can use this for YouTube videos, for example. Do you know how many times my most of the time is just cutting out the breath and the depth space so that the retention rate is high so that you watch it and you don't, and I don't waste your time. Same thing again, I can import a timeline. The second way you can do is also here in the media bin, just right click timeline and then say import. And then the first one, because it's an XML file, select this new one, everything fine. Yep, here we go. Here is the new timeline with an edible timeline. So you can start using this. The app at the moment only exists for Windows and Mac, but I was talking to the developer, they want to implement this also for the iPad in the future. There's many features that will come and even just the time saving that you can have, even just cutting this down, bring it over to the iPad and then continue editing is enormous. I think every editor should use this to become faster or the opposite. If you're not using this, your competition will become faster than you, get more jobs than you because they use this or the opposite. Let's say you're a YouTuber like me, you can just create more content on YouTube because of a tool tool like this. And I think just the first project that you do, this time saving that you have is already the investment of an of a pack like this. I have an affiliate for you with, where you get $10 off for the purchase. So it's a lifetime purchase. You only pay it once, then you have it forever and you get all future updates. But anyway, so here on the iPad, you start a new project and you go to the edit page. And in the edit page, you can right click here on the media and then to go to timelines, import, and then this one here. And now we can go to our external drive exports and use this one. And here everything is fine. I want this. This is fine. And now comes the difference to the desktop version. Somehow on my desktop, no problem. It found the footage immediately. When I say here, it doesn't find the two clips and I say, yeah, yes, search again. You can't really select something. It doesn't work that way. You have to say here, no. Then you get this huge message here. Don't be worried. We will fix this in a second. Close. And now the problem is you can't use the relink function because you don't have any media here in it. So it's not missing, the media is not there. So we have to manually 
put the media in. So we go here, import media, select the two files that we're missing and boom, just loading them. Don't re reconnect anything. And I have everything in here in my timeline. And like I told you before, everything is editable. So even if you want to have a space, this is like every clip, you can get it back, you can cut it, you can do whatever you want. So this is a game changer when it comes to video editing. Seriously, I was doing so many times working just on taking out the breath, the dev space. And if you want to make high quality videos and especially engaging videos, you need a tool like this. So in the description, you find a link, an affiliate, link you get ten dollars off this is massive this tool anyway i hope you like this video if yes hit like subscribe ding a ding in the bang bang gong and we see us in the next video i'm daniel bye